Hello and welcome to David Photography. Today we have something similar to our Paul London that I have an envelope here which has a signed photo which came out of the wrestle crate. Now you're all going to say I'm going to do exactly the same type thing. Well, I'm not. So this one became a lot lot worse than the poor London one. This came first class brand new envelope and the first class large is one pound one. Remember that one pound one. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it now right here and take out the print. The picture is Johnny Storm. Now, the signature is up here. It's black on black, which doesn't really work all that well, but that isn't the point for this. This picture. And what I paid for this picture is the point of this. This picture came from a wrestle crate. This picture was sold on eBay, which therefore had eBay final pays, PayPal's fees, and as we said, envelope and first class postage for one pound one. Now, as I keep saying, you cannot value pictures at a certain amount of money anyway. And this is my defining reason why. You're all wanting to know how much I paid for this, aren't you? Surprisingly, I was the only bid once again on this picture. I got this picture, wait for it, for a massive I mean huge amount of money. I got this picture for 99p. So not even a pound, but we'll just say it's a pound. Takes less. Remember, the stamp on this envelope costs one pound one. Therefore, the person selling this picture automatically, just with the stamp, lost one pence. Lost money on the envelope. Lost money on the time to put the picture into the envelope and to post it. Lost money on eBay and lost money on PayPal's. 99 pence. I'm not gonna make this a long video. Hopefully that is just the icing on the cake. It is impossible to say that a picture can be worth 15, 20 pound, or even seven pound 50. It's how much people value the picture at. This was actually on eBay for well over seven days. So it was easily found. I just typed in WrestleCreate and I found it. So when you look at the value of any items, don't overvalue them. I hope I've just proved that there is good bargains out there, but the person selling it lost money. And if you're buying stuff to sell and thinking they have a value, you may be very much mistaken. This nice gloomy bit. Okay, see you on the next video. Bye for now.